basically stuff yourself and be miserable. Great point, Tina. The, the big problem with skipping breakfast is not so much that you eat more at the rest of the rest of the day, it's that you don't burn as many calories throughout the day when no, you don't eat like breakfast. It increases right. your metabolism. Every time you eat, your uh, your metabolism elevates because your body has to work to burn yeah, the calories. The, yeah. the key to losing weight is not consuming less calories. It's consuming less calories than you burn or burn more calories than you consume. If and you breaking that, it up. If and you do and that, breaking it doesn't it up. matter. George, you probably eat twice as many calories as a lot of people out there, yet you're able to maintain your weight other people out there eating half of your calories That's right. gain weight right. because they don't burn they they burn less calories. So eat breakfast, you'll burn more calories. I don't know that people would be really crazy interested in this one, but how about a game of football or, or pick up basketball or something after you guys eat? Well, it's kind of hard sure. after you eat because you feel tired and want to just sit there and belt, undo your belt and sit there, and, you know. But how about before? <laughs> that's, that's, well, I think that was my not second if point. you hang out and you know, let your food settle for an hour and then go play football. An hour, I'm sleeping. You know, now, I know, <laughs> here's, here's another thing I wanted to bring up. A lot of people do the turkey trot. It's, what, 20,000 people now, something like that? I, yeah. I used to do it. And, you know, we're talking about don't run, don't run. It, there's nothing wrong with going and doing the turkey trot. I think most people do it for the social aspect of it. But well, also that, hold on. There's something wrong with it from a health standpoint, like yes. you talked about in the beginning of the show, but nothing wrong with it from a social standpoint. Right, exactly. Go do your turkey trot, but the day before and the day after, do your burst training. All right, we gotta well, go. We, we got to go to a break. Let's do that. We'll come back with more information. I have more suggestions. Mine is the how to... Mine is, if you go to my blog, look at Nutritious Holiday Eating Without the Guilt. I'll, I'll share it with you on the air in case you're not in front of a computer. Dr. Webster has some more information as well. 745 Sports Radio 1310. 749 Sports Radio 1310. The ticket, George D. John, Train Station Fitness Show. The guest in the studio, Dr. Jeremy Webster and also Tina Burnett. Go ahead, Doc. Okay, we talked about the uh, tips how to not blow your diet. The eating eggs, eating a high-protein diet was the first one. It increases your metabolism. The second way to increase your metabolism as we already mentioned, burst train before your meals. If you burst train before your meals, 30 minutes, 20 minutes before your meals, it opens up all your cells and makes your cells more, more easily take, to take in uh, protein and glucose. So you will, you will uh, utilize your food much better and you won't be near as hungry. Second thing, drink lots of water between meals. It has been proven that a lot of times people think they're hungry, they're actually thirsty. So drink a lot of water between meals. You won't eat as much for dinner. And now, if you really want to control what you're eating, but still be able to eat some of that bad food that you might just be tempted, eat in this order. Write this down. Always eat like this. Eat your raw vegetables first. There's always some raw vegetables, whether it be a, a raw salad, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, whatever. Eat your raw vegetables first. Second, eat your cooked vegetables. Green beans, peas, asparagus, anything you've got that's cooked. Third, eat your meat. So go with your turkey. Go with your ham, whatever else kind of other kind of meat you have. Then you can go to your starches, which is your potatoes, sweet potatoes, things like that. And then last, eat your desserts. If you're still hungry at that point, feel free to go ahead and eat your pumpkin pie or your pecan pie. George, yeah. if you don't do oh. those things, if you don't do those things, your only alternative is a detox. And after you finish eating the desserts, put them away. <laughs> because I got a better one. Pass, throw them out. Time you pass by, you're gonna take a little sliver of that pie. So that throw, throw them out. <laughs> get rid well, of believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, that's that's what I'll do. If I get something bad, I'll eat a little bit of it and throw the entire thing out. What is the normal? <clears throat> what is the normal comeback someone might have? If if you saw me, let's say, buy a whole pumpkin pie, and I. Uh, take one slice out of it and throw the rest out. What would someone say typically? You're wasting food. They would think you're nuts. They would think I'm wasting it, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. People what am, in Africa are starving. Right. What am I wasting? Jerk. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what What am I wasting? So if I give it to someone, am I contributing to their health or not? Nope. Good point. <laughs> That's very. So good point. so That's how am I wasting it? And, well. and then and if that and if I'm if I'm not eating the rest of it, regardless of the amount of time, if it takes me a year to eat it. Am I really helping myself? So the way I look at it, that's just what works for me. Let me tell you something I did that was better and worse at the same time years ago. I go to the grocery store hungry like many of us do, put a bunch of bad stuff in the cart, and I put good stuff in there also. But then I was so disciplined at the time where I didn't eat anything bad. This is years ago. When I got, <laughs> when I got to the... Uh, 
uh, register, I would take all the bad stuff. You did not take it all out. I took all the bad too. stuff out, all I kept the good stuff. Now all these people had to stock it. And, and you put it by the chewing gum. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I want this anymore. They hated seeing me come and I'd do it once a week. I changed my mind. I don't want all this stuff here. Will you take it, please? Yeah. That's how you would get your fix, huh? Just exactly. putting it in your shopping cart. Yeah. It's like, okay, it was I, I me did. doing my mental games. Now I take all the good stuff out. No. Right. Okay, so here's what I'd like you to do. If, if you're not in front of a computer to see my uh, blog about uh, titled Nutritious Holiday Eating Without the Guilt. I'll share it with you here, but you can always go to my blog and it's only maybe three or four back um, about how to eat without the guilt. So have your cake and eat it too. How do you do it? Keep these things in mind because this is exactly what I do when I want to eat bad. Almost every single time, unless I'm not home or able to get this in front of me. Before I cheat, I always have protein and a fat. Always. You want to stabilize your blood sugar. I'll have like five almonds or five walnuts. But the trick with fat is to have it about 20 minutes before you eat. And I didn't put that in here, did I? Dang it. Uh, about 20 minutes before you eat so you have a chance to balance your blood sugar. Otherwise it doesn't work immediately. So you want to have fat about 20 minutes before you cheat and have protein as well. Um, before you cheat or before you eat? Before you cheat and eat. Okay. Before you eat and cheat. No, I thought yeah. I've been giving. I've been telling my, my patients, especially diabetics, to eat coconut oil. Half a teaspoon of coconut Love oil it. every hour on the hour. They have a constant source of energy, but it's good quality fat. Right. And they don't crave carbohydrates anymore. Oh, that's fantastic. That and glutamine. Taking glutamine will do the same sure. thing. Uh, if you have stressed adrenals, like Tina, she takes my stress no more. That'll help also. So we have to. It's a multifaceted approach to create. Uh, uh, um, Carbing, uh, craving, what am I trying to say? Cur carbs. 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 Thank you. None of, neither of you are dyslexic, yeah. you pass. <laughs> so, another thing you can do to help balance blood sugar that I don't know that I put in there and I want to put in my, in my blog is cinnamon. We talk about having a Ooh. tablespoon or a teaspoon, rather, of cinnamon per day. What's great about cinnamon, it helps to blood, balance blood sugar, is it doesn't matter the time you have it per day. It's just having it once a day. He didn't say cinnamon rolls. He said cinnamon. And I didn't say cinnamon is sugar either, the mix. Just cinnamon. <laughs> There are two types of cinnamon, though, and I, they say, the technical name is very similar. You have to get, there's one type that's, that's healthy and one type that is not, though. And I think if you get the cinnamon sticks and grate it yourself, yes, that's you get, the you're getting the right type. Right. And I can't, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have it in front okay, of me. Okay, now, there's, there, there's something, I, I agree with you with that, because I heard that, but I didn't know that one was unhealthy, I just thought it had less it, benefits. It, does, it doesn't have any of the beneficial properties whatsoever. So if you buy ground cinnamon in a, in a spice thingy at the store, that's not I, good? Again, I don't have it in front of me, I don't know for sure. It could it could be that they, they take the good kind and grind it up, right. and it's okay, but it's also very likely that it's the other kind. And that's, now, that I, I suspect that that's the higher grade, more expensive ones. If you look it up on the internet, it's very easy to find this. Just okay. look up high quality beneficial cinnamon versus, you know, the two types of cinnamon. Google it. You'll find exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, also, here's another thing that I do. So we talked about having protein and fat about 20 minutes before you're going to cheat. Have cinnamon also if you can. Here's the other thing. I'll take a, a, a tablespoon, a rounded tablespoon of psyllium husk. You get this at Whole Foods or, or any healthy grocery store. And I'll put that in water, mix it up real fast, and drink it real fast. You want to have it down right away because it gets real thick. What you're doing here is, with this type of cheating, is you're balancing blood sugar and you're not, you're not absorbing all of the calories from the bad uh, food that you're going to have. Because the, the fiber, all of the high amount of fiber in the psyllium husk will help to absorb some of those calories. Now, if you have a 500 calorie dessert, it's not going to take 400 calories away, but if it takes 100 away, or whatever it would be, my, Dr. Webster, you probably figured that, that out better than me, then you're having a, 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 a better start, if you will, to, to your dessert. Sure, and it absorbs so much water, it fills you up. Well, you, won't, you won't want to eat quite as much. And that was the last place I was going. If you have all of these things, you won't want to eat as much. It doesn't mean you won't enjoy your dessert. You'll still have the type of dessert you want. It's just something that will help to prevent you from, from feeling guilty afterward, and you can still eat what you want. I've, I've done this for so many years, and I'm leaner now. Hold on, that's a lie. I am as lean now as I was when I was in my late 20s from doing all of this stuff. You're stud. Not trying to be. So, any uh, but you are. <laughs> tea box, if you're ready, we're ready. Go ahead. You got more. I just wanted to say, you know, bottom line with the workouts, guys, is short duration, high intensity training is your ticket to keeping those extra pounds of fat off your body and maintaining your fitness. And if you didn't catch this workout, it won't be on, on YouTube till next week. Ideas for burst training sprinting, stair climbing, 
you know, fast stair climbing, running or up hills or even fast walking up hills if you're at a lower fitness level, box jumps, jump rope, continuous long jumps, power skipping, you know, skipping the big skips, push-ups, pull-ups, and there's so many things you can do without any equipment.